And welcome back. This is our second segment and we have been joined on set by Dr. Charmaine Saunders. He's the program officer with the University of the West Indies Open Campus. And Ian Cacho, he's the library assistant too at UWI as well. And this morning we're going to be discussing educational opportunities being offered at the UWI. Good morning, folks. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for the opportunity to discuss our programs and yes. offerings at the UWI. Happy New Year to you, too. We also wanted yes. to say that. And uh, this is, of course, tied into our New Year's resolution goals for 2018 for many people. Now, furthering your education or building your professional development is one of those goals I think people sometimes very easily move on to the other year and then the other mm -hmm. year because it, it seems like it will require more time than we may have, mm -hmm. more finances than we may have, or perhaps people don't recognize the opportunities that exist. Mm -hmm. So that's what we want to talk about today for people who are looking in 2018 to build their own capacity. What are the options available at UWI? So in most cases, people tend to uh, education is not at their, at their prior, on their priority list. Mm -hmm. There's a tendency to procrastinate, and it's not intentional. Most of the time, it's you know you're an adult, and then you decided you're going to come back, and mm -hmm. before you know it, the time has passed. Mm -hmm. um, you're putting your children through school, and that takes precedence. Mm -hmm. That takes priority, sorry, over everything else. Um, so for us, we start. We meet you where you are, and that's one of the greatest advantage of the University of the West Indies. We meet, meet you where you are, mm -hmm. and then we have different opportunities to access education. It's not simply face-to-face. -face. Mm -hmm. Though we've noticed that face-to-face -face is the, the key option. People prefer coming into a classroom, sitting for a couple hours, go home, do assignments, and come back. Yeah. And our university, which is on-site, online, and on-demand, takes a different approach to education. We mm -hmm. meet you where you are, and the classes, it's done independently from in most cases. Um, to start off with, we have courses that we call continued professional education courses. Mm -hmm. And those courses, generally, you don't have to have any um, requirements. Mm -hmm. Entry requirements are very minimal for those courses. And those are the courses we encourage people to use. Um, once you complete those courses, you can utilize those courses to matriculate into the university. So they help you to build, build up until you're ready to take a full degree program. Additionally, we have courses that are designed for face-to-face. -face. They're also continued professional education. And what we find, companies tend to pay for those for their employees to build up um, their professional development portfolio. And those courses can be done um, face to face for two or three days as in a workshop format it's mm -hmm. a full comprehensive session full day mm -hmm. but companies give you time off and they pay for it in some cases right mm -hmm. so we have those courses the courses that we offer face to face are also online most of our courses offered face to face can be done online so there's that flexibility now i think this is perhaps uh, going back to the larger picture, this was the mandate of, of or this was the goal uh, in establishing an open campus. It's, it's removing barriers yes. from furthering one's education. Mm -hmm. How much have you found the interest grow from Belizeans in, in being able to access, whether it's a degree program or a professional development program? I think the access has helped because persons do not have to take a full course load when you're going to our university, we don't have this separation that we call uh, full-time and part-time. Mm -hmm. You're just a student. And you could take the normal course load, if you want to complete your degree in the standard three years or four years, mm -hmm. um, you would take four courses per semester. But at our university, we recognize that there are financial constraints, mm -hmm. time constraints that are hindered by job, travel, family. And so you could take one course. Mm -hmm. Um, and then they, that comes with a payment plan. You're also allowed to do a payment plan. Nice. And standard, the standard fee, we don't even charge by credit hour, where normal, normally students find that they pay by credit hour. Mm -hmm. We charge a standard 720 per course, mm -hmm. and that includes your books, um, materials, and all that. That's included in there. Mm -hmm. And of course, your annual fee. Um, which is separate, yeah. but it's, it's really manageable and you can uh, make 
payment plans towards that. So let's let's dive into some of the opportunities that are available, and let's start with some of the short-term courses mm -hmm. um, that are available at the UWA. Well, um, we have a variety of short 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 courses, and one of the most popular one we 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 run would be the intro to counseling mm -hmm. and advanced counseling. And that's a very popular course. That's, that's taught by Ms. Jenny Lovell, mm -hmm. your very own Jenny. Right? She does um, most of the courses when it comes to counseling all the way up to your master's program. She's the coordinator that helps in that. But um, we also have a Summer Legal Institute. Now, Summer Legal Institute basically is for people who are interested in mm -hmm. learning about law. We do, you, you have the options of choosing, we have a listing of four courses. Mm -hmm. which would be labor law, family law, trial preparation and advocacy, and intro to mediation. Now, mediation is becoming a big yeah. thing yeah. in Belize, right? And so for you, you pick three during the summer to do those three courses, mm -hmm. and you pay one standard fee instead of paying individually for each course. Okay. So you get a, a, a discount for, for utilizing that mode. But if you want to do the one, say you just want to do one, you could do that as well. Mm -hmm. um, and those, those are run usually during the summer time. Um, we also have a lot of the, um, we had uh, secretarial studies mm -hmm. courses, um, which is run because we have partnerships with government to train mm -hmm. um, their, their, their staff, you know. Um, we also have, um, like I said, uh, grant proposal yeah. writing and, and um, uh, uh, NGO administration yeah. and those we have a courses whole in that different module. range of courses. Uh, like you said, if we don't have it, usually we could create <laughs> it. It's it's just based on the demand, right? <laughs> very very <laughs> integral uh, program, I think, is uh, the different management courses. Yeah. Yes, those yeah. are those are really the courses that people come after. Yeah. Um, but as Ian said, if we don't have it, because we're a regional university, yeah. we there's some other site or location that has had a demand for it and that had, that course has been created and we use the same course outline and mm -hmm. um, the materials from across the region because we're a regional university. Yeah. So when you look at, for instance, what are, what are being offered here and <clears throat> trends in terms of the courses that people ordinarily gravitate to, can we say then that Perhaps counseling is one of those where That's a lot of people are now mm -hmm. understanding mm -hmm. or realizing the importance of uh, mm -hmm. counseling and providing that kind of uh, service. service. Right. That has always been one, and then with um, with the advent of of the way things are going, mm -hmm. we see that the mediation has taken on. Um, we actually partnered with the attorneys general office um, mm -hmm. through the chief justice, and we did from a foundation course all the way up to now we have family mediation, um, court connected mediation and we run those courses and we've provided a cadre of um, trained mediators mm -hmm. across the country. Mm -hmm. We recently did one across the country and so the persons who are trained under those programs are members of um, the roster of mediators. Yeah. Now these are also, I mean, you have from entrepreneurship uh, mm -hmm. courses, public speaking courses. So while some of these may be directly tied to the work that you do, if you want to uh, do some of the legal study courses, some of them can also be skills that you acquire yes. to right. put yourself in a better position. Or if you want to change careers. Yeah. We've had people who want to switch careers, mm -hmm. so they would come to us and say, how can I... Um, start and so we have a um, student per student relations personnel who works directly with you guiding you through what type of courses you need Fantastic. to take. Yeah. I'm looking at this for instance it says here maritime collision and prevention course. <laughs> I'm thinking this would be for someone who wants to work at the Port Authority yes, it or is. someone yeah. who works at the coastal zone uh -huh. or people who are involved in the fisheries sector yeah. that type of thing. And to be honest that course never really took off because mm -hmm. we operate based on subscription so we mm -hmm. have to have a break point where we so we we advertise we promote the courses and this mm -hmm. is a great opportunity yeah. for us to promote that type I'm glad you selected yeah. that mm -hmm. course because it never took took off as we had planned we knew there's yeah. a demand for it yeah. but um, 
it's also a practical course. You actually have to get in the boat and, 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 yeah. and do. But you see, the thing is, and, and what comes to mind is that there's some professions that are self-taught or mm -hmm. passed on through traditions, but there will come a point where you will need the certification yes. for it. We saw that with welder, welders mm -hmm. when yeah. uh, there weren't welders with a specific certification mm -hmm. um, to be able to help out at one of the factories. And so they had to go back, even though they've been doing it for years, to be able to acquire the skills. Mm -hmm. So it's great to be proactive yes. and, and uh, do a certificate program. So in addition to the individual courses, you also have, as you mentioned, your associates, your bachelors, and all up the way to up the to the PhD. PhD. Yes, right. you can do here online. Um, okay. It's available now. So talk to us about what, what's available. What can we do through the UE Open Campus Belize? Um, we have a lot of courses for a lot of programs in education, of course, business. Mm -hmm. um, the thing that we don't have presently, and um, we've had some requests for, is tech voc. Mm -hmm. We don't really have a lot of tech voc. Not to say that we cannot bring some of that to yeah. Belize, um, but I, I just think that the demand has not been there. Yeah. But we have um, a lot of uh, social work. Um, we, are, we even introduced sociology, psychology a couple of years ago. So students who used to have to travel to the campuses can now be able yeah. to do it here at home without the, the costs attached to traveling and living abroad for a few years. You also had your youth development program. Yes, it's right. still very yeah. strong. And we just recently had the, we, the Belize hosted the conference and that's mm -hmm. where we promoted. Not only do we have degree, um, Eon is actually doing that, that oh. program. Um, not a bachelor's in there, but not only do we have the degree, but we also now ha offer and we launched um, uh, professional development courses. So you don't, because sometimes people are not sure yeah. what they want to do and they want to test the waters. Yeah. Yeah. We don't have full medical and law degree online. And mm -hmm. that's what people Try are clamoring for right, because yeah. the cost to go away for five years the to study. <laughs> But Very those possible. faculties still feel the need to have face-to-face yeah. -face and you have to travel to the campuses to do those. Yeah. Well, I, I'm sure some of them are, are, they still require a lot more intensive programs to go to the campuses. But there's so much that you can be able to access. Mm -hmm. Management studies we're seeing, um, quite a bit of social work, uh, family studies. Mm -hmm. What seems to be the most sought after programs that you have in the different levels? Education and business, that hasn't changed. We, we don't call it business at UA, we call it management studies. Okay. And you go all the way up to your PhD. And for both of those, those are the courses, the programs that people um, those are like the main access. Stage. Those yeah. are the main, yeah, we have that. Um, we have a one year law program, it's an A-level law. And mm -hmm. we, just as good as the advanced and intro to counseling okay. cells, th mm -hmm. that course, we always have take up subscription for those. In fact, a lot of people do that before they go off. Oh, the yes, right, yes. Right. And <laughs> what, what, what we found was very useful in the past was that once you do the A-level law, you could go and work as a paralegal. Mm -hmm. Even the magistrates they used to hire, now they have to get their formal education, but you were That's able great. to access uh, improved job uh, income mm -hmm. through uh, acquiring that course. It's a year program, but it was worth the while. Now what is the, what is the correlation in terms of the demand for some of these programs and the actual jobs that are being made available or the actual shifts in the, the workforce in terms of what people are looking for? The, the issue for UA is that because the, we make the programs accessible and you can mm -hmm. work while you're studying, mm -hmm. um, we have noticed that the access is higher because people are on their jobs and they're acquiring a degree and they don't have to stop what they're doing and pack up and move yeah. with their families to go away and study. Yeah. Um, not only that, you don't, there, doesn't have to, there, there isn't a, a site at your location. Mm -hmm. All you have to have is your computer and in great internet access. So we are now reaching people all the way in PG. Some of our, our student guild members are all the way down south. Um, very remote areas, we have access to those persons now. Now, I was, I was about to ask that in terms of how uh, the programs are implemented. Some people do prefer or, uh, or oh, yes. enjoy face-to-face. <laughs> oh, face. yes. How do you, and I know that you have... I forget the terminology that you use, but, but essentially you integrate both. Well, blended. Yeah, blended. Yeah. Uh -huh. Tell us about that. Um, the challenge is that 
the only location we have is in Belize City. So mm -hmm. you do have to travel. But what we still try to utilize is technology. It requires a lot of student support services mm -hmm. because people... I, I always tell people doing a degree online requires a certain level of discipline. And that discipline means even though you're not going to class at a scheduled particular time, you need to allot that time. It requires a lot of time management yeah. skills. And if you don't have that, we try to put in, um, we do some support courses like we bring you in and we sit you down and do work-life balance because mm -hmm. it's also balancing your everyday, how you balance your family. Um, yeah. But it saves people time from commuting because imagine you were living in Sand Creek and you have to travel to Belmopan to a campus. Yeah. It still, it, it offers you that, it affords you that opportunity. But I think what is always missing is the, the discipline yeah. to study from a distance. And um, this year we celebrate 70 years. Oh, wow. I'll let Eon talk a little bit about all the activities we're going to be doing yeah. because we celebrate 70 years, but as a fourth campus, the open campus, mm -hmm. we are celebrating 10 years this year as oh, well. Right. Okay. <laughs> so how are you celebrating? Okay, um, we have a list of activities mm -hmm. for this whole year. Um, we're having a Thanksgiving service on Jan in January, mm -hmm. the 28th. In March, we're having a bike ride, a family bike ride. We don't want just only the professionals. We want, everybody. We want it to be family centered, right? Um, we're also having a, a public lecture mm -hmm. uh, focus on youth, yes. okay. you know, so that's my specialty. So mm -hmm. I'll be looking, um, I'll be working on that. Um, in March, we'll have a very special fair, a UE fair in Orange Walk. Because um, I think that could tell you why that fear is coming about. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's a partnership between um, UE and BTL. DTL, okay. right? I think they have facilities there. We mm -hmm. we will utilize. Um, We're hoping to partner with BTL. We have we have begun um, talks and signing MOUs. Um, so they have a building in Orange Walk, and we're hoping that we could utilize that facility to have us a, a site. Oh, where nice. people can actually go in from yeah. Corozal or Orange Walk and, and, yeah. and see us face to face. Yeah. <laughs> but with the same advantage of doing online, but yeah. we will also be running some of the face to face courses because I told you that people still crave for that and yeah. they don't have to travel to Belize City. We are going to reach them and it's a pilot. So yeah. we're hoping that once it works well, it'll be like a satellite. You could repli right, yeah, yeah right. you could replicate it. Oh, good. In April, we're going to have the UE singers again. Mm -hmm. UE singers will be in Belize. Um, in May, we'll have the Panyard in Belmopan. Oh. That's always a, a great, great <laughs> event, definitely. Um, in June, we, we are going to have our distinguished lecture, which is the Vernon Leslie Memorial Lecture, and that we partner with Niche with that, since it's a part of um, Festival of Arts. Yeah. You know, and he was great. Belize was a mecca back in the days when it came to the to um, drama and mm -hmm. theater with, with um, when we had Rex Nettleford here, he was the head of UWE yeah. back in the days. Um, in September, we having more, we having another lecture and we'll be taking part in their, um, the, the 21st parade. So you will have a float again. Oh. So you will be out there. Um, we have um, the UWE Education Week in November and part of that will be those who have completed a degree. We usually have a uh, a ceremony for them. Mm -hmm. If you can't go to the graduation, we usually have a ceremony for you yeah. right here. No matter which campus you graduated from, you, you, could, gra your you could come to your graduation mm -hmm. here. Um, we also will have another lecture this time, hopefully with the, um, the Garfuna Council in November. Mm -hmm. we, we, we started that last year and we Very hope to continue. Yeah, yeah. We're really well attended because we have um, his and his dad there and, and and pen and it was um it was excellent um and in november we're hoping to have a nice illuminating nice event gal gala yes. oh. you know something formal so you know dress an up right? Year. <laughs> yeah. right it's an anniversary year both for the university we um i think we started in 1948 and then in 1962 mm -hmm. we separated as a college of university of london and had our own name and we're hoping that we can continue to have an impactful, continue to offer impactful service to the Caribbean, to the region. Yeah. Now, what about the cost? 
what's what's the what's your recommendation to people who feel perhaps that it is just simply going to be too expensive for them? Um, I say to them um, the value of education. You, you really can't put that value right away, mm -hmm. um, but we try to make it affordable. Um, so for the courses that we spoke about, the seminars, the workshops, um, those courses that helps you to build your um, educational background before matriculating into the university, yeah. those are three seventy-five, three hundred and seventy-five dollars yeah. um, Every year we make it, uh, try to do some kind of community service where we offer free a free course yeah. and that too you can utilize. Um, whenever we have outreach activities we try to um, give free certificate courses as a, as a prize because we believe that that way once you get your foot into the door yeah. um, you'll, f you'll see the need. Mm. And then our regular courses they're the, um, $720 per course. It's not by, it's not by credit tower. Yeah. I just want to reiterate because Person sent to think because universities charge by credit hours seven twenty per credit hour, mm -hmm. but it's actually per course, and those courses are actually three credit hour courses. And you have your prior learning assessment that people can tap into as well. Yes, that is very. Um, that is another area because that allows those persons who have never seen, they never took a CXC, they never yeah. took a, a course because mm -hmm. sometimes. People have the learning, you know, they, they know what they want to do, they know, they've been doing it for many years. Yeah. We have a, a prior learning assessment that tests that and then you give, it gives you credits for your yeah. life learning, what yeah. you've learned during life. Right. Fantastic. <laughs> All right, so how do people contact you if they're interested in signing up for any one of the courses? Or where do they get the information? That so need? all information is online, and I'll say it slowly, www.open.uwi.edu. And our email address, Ion can share that. Believe oh, at, at open dot dot u -w -i dot edu. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> fantastic. Well, thank you for coming in and reminding uh, everyone that there are quite a number of opportunities that they can take advantage of at the UE Open Campus. Uh, and uh, whether it is working towards a degree program or just getting uh, some of the skill sets that they need or want mm -hmm. um, uh, for their own professional development. And thank you for the opportunity. It is a crucial time. Um, I just want to remind people that shortly we will be um, opening our registration, I mm -hmm. mean our application, online application. Mm -hmm. But for those local courses, application is open all year round. Okay. But for online courses, application will be open shortly because mm -hmm. we just... We're just now registering for this semester, mm -hmm. but it would be for the August semester. So we want to encourage people to visit us online or yeah. call the office and we will email you the application form for local courses. All right. Well, thank, thank you. you once Sorry. again. We're going to go ahead and take a break. And when we come back, we'll be talking first on budget. So